few years ago, the Philippines and the Israeli company Elbit Systems signed a $172 million contract for the latter to develop a new generation of light tanks for the Philippine Army. Just a few months ago, the Philippine Army began equipping the successfully developed Sabra light tanks, with a projected total of 144 tanks to eventually become the country's main armored force. The Sabra light tank adopts a modular concept and actually has two configurations. One is a light tank based on the Ascod tracked armored vehicle chassis, and the other is a light tank based on the Pander 28x8 wheeled armored personnel carrier chassis, or you can call it an assault gun. Customers can choose which one to purchase according to their own needs. Ascod is equipment jointly developed by Austria and Spain to replace the old M113 series armored personnel carriers. It has been in service since 2002. Like other tracked vehicles, it has also developed into a complete armored family, including missile launchers, self-propelled mortar carriers, command vehicles, and of course, a light tank version equipped with a 105mm gun. Pander 2 is a multi-purpose wheeled armored vehicle developed by Austria and has been in service since 2001. It is produced by Stair Daimler Puck. It is also a complete armored family, but compared to Ascod, it is much lighter in overall weight, which means it has poorer armor protection, but the wheeled chassis gives it better mobility. The Sabra light tank uses a two-person armored turret. The main gun in the turret is a bi-directionally stabilized 52 caliber 105mm rifled gun. The barrel has a thermal sleeve and a muzzle brake. It has an automatic loading system and can fire six rounds per minute. It can use all NATO standard ammunition and carries 36 rounds of ammunition on board, with 12 rounds in the autoloader's drum and the remaining rounds stored on the ammunition rack inside the vehicle. The auxiliary weapon is a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun with 500 rounds ready to fire, and an additional 1500 rounds stored inside the vehicle. If necessary, an additional self-defense machine gun can be installed outside the commander's hatch. The turret has four smoke grenade launchers on each side. The tracked version of the Sabra tank weighs slightly over 30 tons and is powered by a 720 horsepower diesel generator. It uses torsion bar suspension and has a maximum road speed of 72 km per hour. Its armor protection is definitely not comparable to main battle tanks, reportedly reaching NATO Level 4 standards, which means it can withstand hits from 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds at a distance of 200 meters in any direction and damage from 155mm artillery shells at a distance of 30 meters, and can withstand 10 kilograms of explosive damage. The specific protection capabilities of the wheeled version are unknown, but considering its lighter overall weight, the level of protection should be reduced by one level. Currently, the Philippines has confirmed its intention to equip both the tracked and wheeled versions of the Sabra tank, which is considered a success in the commercial market. However, there is currently no interest from other countries, and there are many competitors in the market, such as China's VT-5.